one. Uh, before uh, we start, I'm um, um, Zuki class, and I was the acting principal last year at Mkanyiseli Primary School. And this uh, is Mr. Gyanki, my new principal. Uh, starting from last year, uh, things weren't easy for me. I was really in a, in a world of struggle because of uh, so many challenges at the school. I think uh, Partners for Possibilities training came to me at the right time. Uh, because uh, when you become a principal, you don't get any training. You just, uh, they just put you there and you see yourself what to do. With the training, everything was possible with me. I could tackle some problems and deal with any issues of the school because of the meetings that I was uh, uh, attending and with uh, the, the, the partner which was mentoring me at that time. I was even able to uh, solve some conflicts at the school through the skills I acquired from the trainings. There were some, uh, in those meetings uh, which we, 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 we attended, there were some good practices and bad practices that we were sharing from one another. As uh, a result, uh, last year at the end of uh, the, the, the term, we've got um, some improvement in a grade six results, and it was for the first time that the the results were improved in a grade in in grade six through all all to all those uh, support which I was getting from from my mentor. Uh, I can say uh, thank you to Meredy and to Keith for their support. And now I will hand over to my new principal as he started uh, this year. And you also join the Partners for Possibilities. Yeah. Thank you, lady. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me greet you in this evening. I'm not going to waste the time since my predecessor has already explained all the operations that we're doing there in that school, that particular school, Mukanyese Primary School. It's a school which is situated at Nyanga, a Quindile II school in a sub-economic environment, but where parents are having the good vision and the mission for the school. But the economic conditions are tackling them, them down. But they are not giving up with a team of good leaders like Zugi, with the mentors, good mentors like Meridi, Keith, Sharon, Ms. Pat Lecke, Mr. Chetty, that I will call them to come and speak for, for a few minutes and join you later at your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, I joined this school in January. It was not easy for me in my arrival there. <coughs> Because I find that although they've done their spade work, but there were challenges. Because when you are working as principals, you will find, you will find that we are working under nine focus areas. And of course, I'm not going to wait to waste our time by mentioning all those focus areas. One of the focus of the areas there that I found that it was a challenge, it was focus area number seven and number eight. The security and safety, or the safety and security there. It was a challenge then at our school. And I'm still working hand in glove with the community to combat that in that particular school. On the other side, towards the basic functionality of the school, at least the team that I joined there, they were doing their call. 
it means they, 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 they responded to their invitation, as we, was, we used to say in our workshops here, to partners for possibility. I joined you in January also to the Partners for Possibility. The first workshop that I joined, it was in Noma Road Primary School. And of course, I learned a lot of things there that I didn't know while I was not a principal previously. Among the good things that I, that I can share with you, it was a team building that was conducted by Keith. There's, those, are, those are my teammates there in our arrival there. It was a very, very, very good one. We learned a lot of things, things that we didn't even share as colleagues at, at our working place. But through that workshop, it assisted us a lot in terms of our planning, because we are going to have the planning for next year towards the conclusion of this year. It assisted, it assisted us a lot, a lot there. Facilitation, the facilitators there were well equipped, well planned. Teachers were also engaged there, and they were inducted with new skills through our facilitators there. At the end of the day, we reflect as teammates, as individuals, about our contribution to the team. It was not easy, colleagues. It was very emotional. Teachers, workers, all of us we were in tears because we told each other that you are dragging down this, uh, this team intentionally or unintentionally by contributing by, these, these, by the following aspects. But at the end of the day, we have agreed with each other that we have to contribute towards the success of the team. On that note, colleagues, I'm going to invite my mentors or my advisors as the team of Mukanyese in the primary school. Sharon, can you step forward, lady? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Petronella Lecker. I'm a member of the provincial legislature. Um, a spokesperson for community safety. I'm a member of the ANC. Um, I'm not sure what did I do that I deserve to come here. <laughs> but if I reflect properly, I remember myself stepping into Mkanyiseli Primary School at the beginning of this year. The last time that I was at Mkanyiseli High School, primary school must have been 20 years back when I was still at primary school. But when I stepped in there and having seen the infrastructure of the great R learners, it hurt my feelings. The playground surface of the great R also spoke something to my conscience. And because of that, I realized that not much is done, particularly in the ECD um, stages. And I felt one ought to invest in learners and one ought to invest at the very early stage, um, be it from age three going upwards, because that is where one can still nurture their little and beautiful minds. And because of that, I then took up a war to say, the structure that they are in is a prefabricated building. And under the certain circumstances of that specific area, with Nyanga being the second high crime rate, particularly when it comes to murders and stuff, that school is bound to experience the robberies day in, day out. Hence, the building was vandalized by criminals. And I felt one needed to do something, which I am now in the second stage of implementing my dream, of making sure that Mkanyiseli Primary School will have a proper grade R structure before the end of 2016. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, good evening. My name is Kavilain Chetty. I'm a client liaison officer at the Mercita Western Cape. We actually function on a daily basis with bridging the skills gap to eradicate unemployment in the country. First and foremost, I'm actually with the Divine Life Society of South Africa, currently the chairperson of the Western Cape Divine Life Society. Our weekly satsangs or prayer is held at the Vishnu Mandir in Gatesville. We actually had a look at this, you know, last year sometime for the nourishment of our kids in the underprivileged areas and we came to the help or the assistance for the poor feeding scheme for those kids where over 300 kids on a daily basis or weekly basis is actually being fed on a Saturday to undertake some literacy and numeracy programs. We further thought that kids that do not have any meals cannot adequately concentrate throughout the day and knowledge gained would actually be very minimal for that. Part and parcel of our teaching is actually to go out to the underprivileged areas and serve the poorest of the poor. Our spiritual head that passed on eight years ago with the Divine Life Society, Swami Sahajananda, he went abroad to India some time ago and our Divine Master, Sri Swami Shivananda, and asked him to come back to South Africa and serve the poorest of the poor. Two basic instructions were given to him, and that was one, to learn to make tea, and two, to learn to type. Learn to make tea was to serve the poor and indigent people in South Africa, and learn to type was to disseminate spiritual knowledge and literature. To date, our Divine Life Society, the Durban or South African branch, has actually done over 516 projects. We've built many schools, clinics, creches, and technical colleges in and around the KZN area. One of the highlights of one of our biggest projects was in Luamba, the AIDS Awareness Center, the most beautiful center ever in the KZN area. We further took this one step further with us and we thought that kids would fight in school having seen that those desks were actually damaged. So a team of us got together and we started this year with 40 desks that was refurbished for the school. This coming weekend, a team of us will be getting together to conclude another 40 more deaths. And having to see the joy that we get from these young kids is actually very grateful to all of us. We are grateful to the school that they've actually chosen us and we've actually looked for quite a while to serve the poorest of the poor. For that, we're grateful to the principal, the school governing body, and the dedicated band of teachers that do an excellent job. Thank you. I have the honor of standing here in, this, in the place of Keith Stevens, the business partner who is unfortunately in Joburg on, on business. I'll read these are these words that he sent through to Meredith. It has been a great privilege to be part of the PFP program over the last year. I've had the pleasure of working with Kanyasili Primary School in Yanga. The school has more than 800 kids and a staff complement of 25. Throughout the year, I've worked with two special people, D.Y., the principal, and Zuki, the deputy principal. Special because of their unwavering commitment to the cause, that of the kids, and helping them both from an academic point of view, but also helping them become good citizens. D.Y. leads a passionate team of teachers that I've had the pleasure of working with recently in a team building event. The PFP program has been great, D.Y. and Zuki will have shared their personal views. The interactions and sessions with D.Y. and Zuki were always positive and constructive. I learned a lot about them, the wonderful work they do, and their school and community. I personally enjoyed the interactions and always positively challenged. The training program was fantastic and afforded either fresh learning or a reminder of what I'd already knew but had let slip. Standing out for me was the Nancy Klein and the thinking environment. Meredy was a great support, and what a knack of asking the incisive questions to nudge me in the right direction and to make sure I considered all angles. Thanks, Meredy. The program makes a difference and is gaining traction. I'm very fortunate and pleased to have had this opportunity, and he thanks 
coronation for that.